Today we're going to find a rate by dividing two quantities. Okay, there's this great place to eat called Fun Burger, and they make burgers at a specific rate. In fact, the burger master there can make his hamburgers at a rate of four every minute. Because of the amount of customers at his shop, the burger master needs to continue this rate for 30 minutes. If he does this, if he makes burgers for 30 minutes at a rate of four burgers every minute, how many burgers is he gonna make? Okay, so we can write it out like this. Four burgers every one minute. But he needs to keep this up for 30 minutes. So we need 30 times the amount of that one minute. Not just one minute, we need 30. So we need 30 times the amount of that one minute. With our problem set up this way, something should be triggered in your mind. When you've learned about fractions before, specifically about multiplying fractions, and you have a numerator and a denominator that are the same. Well, we know that when you have a numerator and denominator that are the same, it's equal to one. And since we have this minutes unit on our right as a numerator and minutes unit on our left as a denominator, both of those together is going to equal it's themselves out. And so that makes sense because we're not dealing with minutes. We don't want to know our answer in minutes. The question was, how many burgers can the burger master make? Not how many minutes will it take him to make the burgers or anything like that. So we can cancel our minutes out and be left with the problem that says four burgers, 30 times as much. And four times 30 is 120. And we have that label of burgers, so it's 120 burgers every 30 minutes. Let's try this method out again with Chandra. Uh, she's going to work for the New York Gazette as an editor, someone who looks over, writes, and makes corrections of the newspaper. If she can read 10 words every second, how many words can she read in 60 seconds? So with that data, we can write it out as 10 words every one second, just like this. But we don't want one second's worth. We want 60 seconds worth of words. And remember, our answer isn't going to be in seconds because the question is how many words can she read in that amount of time? So we can take out those seconds. And we're left with a simple problem that says 10 words times 60 is, and 10 times 60 is 600, 600 words. If Chandra can read 10 words in one second, then she can read 600 words in 60 seconds. Now, Helena, she works for a publishing firm. And at this firm, she types a lot. She types at a rate of 52 words a minute. If she keeps up this rate, how many minutes would it take her to type 104 words? This can be solved by answering the question, how do we go from 52 words to 104 words? And simply put, if we double 52 words, we'll get 104. And so we need to double our minutes as well. One minute doubled is two. And so if Helena types at this consistent rate of 52 words a minute, then she can type 104 words in two minutes. Okay, Jason, he drives a car for a company. And for this job, he tests things like the cruise control, which he will test on a special testing course. On his last test drive of the day, Jason set his cruise control to be 48 miles per hour, and he drove for two hours. How many miles did Jason drive if he drove for two hours at a rate of 45 miles per hour? If you listen closely, our per hour gives you a hint that if we're driving for two of those per hour, then we double the hour which means we need to double the amount of miles. So 48 miles doubled would be 96, and our one hour doubled would be two. So if Jason drives at a rate of 45 miles per hour, he can also drive 96 miles in two hours. Alvin's training for a marathon. He runs nine miles a day to train. If he runs nine miles a day for 30 days, how many total miles will he run? Well, if we know that he runs nine miles a day and we're told that he runs for 30 days, then we're gonna take those nine miles for every one day and find 30 times as much because we have 30 days instead of one. 90 times 30 is 270. So if he runs nine miles every day for 30 days, he would have run a total of 270 miles. 
So what have we learned today? We've learned that we can convert measurement units using rates, and that that conversion can further help us to interpret or make sense of the problem. For example, if we know that five gallons every minute are produced, and we want to know how many gallons are produced in 10 minutes, then we could multiply them like this, cross out the minutes, because remember our answer is wanting gallons, and solve the problem of five gallons times 10, which is 50 gallons.